Hello everybody. My name is Demolius. Welcome to my second playthrough of Wasteland 2 Director's Cut. Uh, the Wasteland 3 is coming out on the 18th of May 2020. Today is uh, the 7th of December 2019. And uh, if, I have, uh, if I bring out a free episode each week, is what I am intending to do, then I should still be able to uh, uh, complete the second playthrough. Or at the very least, about my first playthrough, uh, I think it was 72 episodes or something like that. But uh, I was derping about a lot and I didn't know what to do in a lot of cases. I have a lot more knowledge about, about the story and wh where to be now. And about the game mechanics, so I anticipate that I won't need as much time. Now we'll go over my, my squad, because there are some changes compared to my draft. So, for example, Demo, he had Charisma 8, I've reduced it to 5. I don't recall where I put the points, I think I put them in coordination. But uh, his starting stats are pretty nice, he has uh, 9 action points, his combat initiative is not all that. But he still has a decent combat speed and uh, and uh, yeah. I am playing him with delayed gratification. So he's going to be uh, both a leader and a skill monkey, he's going to have a lot of skills. Now, this is, is our flanker. This is basically uh, the same build, uh, well, roughly the same build the demo had in, in, in the first uh, playthrough, except that he's not doubling as a leader in this case. But she's uh, a very fast, uh, she's going to be a flanker. She is going to be armed with a machine gun and a blunt weapon. The blunt weapon is mostly for the charge, because I anticipate to use the machine guns for basically everything. And then before. Intellect only, she's not going to be able to do much skills, unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I, I think I m mostly focused her on uh, deception uh, and alarm disarming, because those also have some uh, some, some abilities that, uh, some perks that help you in combat. And uh, for example, tactical re repositioning, for example, when you get rear shots, you do more damage, just stuff like that. So. She's just going to be a nuisance for our enemy, and she's twitchy, which is why she has such an insane combat speed. Alright, so let's go to Big Burfa. She is going to be one of our melee specialists. Uh, one of the changes I made is, uh, initially she didn't have 10 strength, and I figured, uh, you know what, Let, let's just start her with 10 strength. Uh, for the other ranges, I'm not, not quite sure what, what my advancements for are going to be. For but for, uh, but for her, I'm going to put 4 points in, uh, in speed, so she's going to have 10 strength at 10 speed. And uh, that is going to give her a uh, pretty decent combat speed. It's going to give her 11 action points, and at level 4 I'm going to give everyone Tinkerer. So that if they have uh, vests, they get another action point, so she's going to have 12 action points. So that should be more than enough for her to, uh, to do her intended role. She is, uh, like, like I said, a uh, melee specialist. I'm gonna give her demolitions and brute force, because brute force has some abilities that allow you to get a sun chance in, in melee, which I really liked. And she has fixed skin for two more points of uh, armor, which I think uh, suits a uh, melee specialist really well. And this is our medic. Uh, not recall if I made any changes to him uh, compared to the initial draft, but like I said, he's our medic. Yeah. We're giving an assault rifle so he can hang back so he doesn't have to expose himself to combat all that much. He, uh, so he's a field magic, he has surgeon, and he uh, also has uh, kiss ass. And uh, let's see. I've given him, um, what was this thing called? Mysophobic. So he'll be able to heal more, but he won't be able to heal himself. So I'm gonna give, going to have to give someone... Uh, uh, a backup uh, healing skills. I think I'm gonna give that uh, to, uh, to Demo, considering he's going to have uh, more than enough kill points uh, uh, at, the, at the end of the campaign. So um, I think I played Seasons last time, so let's let's do make the game a little bit harder. But I'm not gonna go complete Supreme Jerk, because I think I'll just get completely wasted. So yeah, okay, so let, let's, uh, let's start. Thank you. 
What comes after the end? I don't know. Neither did they. They were just an army engineer battalion, constructing roads and bridges deep in the middle of the Arizona nowhere. They didn't know why Armageddon had come. They'd heard radio chatter about an attack on some space-based missile platform. But who had attacked it, or why? No one knew. What they did know is that the politicians and the generals had finally ended the world. Now, everything was gone. They took over a federal prison for a fort, kicked out the convicts, got busy starting from scratch. Maybe it was an act of mercy. Maybe they figured that the prisoners would die out in the harsh new world. Whichever, it came back to bite the engineers in the ass. Cultists, criminals, cannibals. They've been living with the fallout ever since. Good people had survived too, called for help in the night. And those engineers, those common soldiers, could not stand by and see them die. So they came out of their fort and they helped the survivors defend their homes. And for that, they earned a new name, a proud name, the Desert Rangers. Now, Rangers, I know at times it seems our cause is hopeless. And I know it's hard to say goodbye to a brother in arms. But I want you to know something else. That no Ranger who dies in the line of duty will ever be forgotten. Nor will he have ever died in vain or unavenged. Thank you, recruits. Now that we've completed the campaign, uh, that the uh, intro gives us uh, is a little bit more heavy when you know uh, what caused it. But yeah, so I appreciate you coming to Captain Ace's retirement so, uh, party when you hardly knew the man. I will uh, appropriate too. Skip all this conversation. Uh, his death will be your first duty as a Desert Ranger. Uh, he said duty, and uh, I'll get back to you guys uh, when I'm done in the starting area. Right, so I have uh, basically gone through the entire area, dug up everything that we uh, that I could find, some scrap and sold off the scrap. So let's see, we found ourselves a nail board, which uh, well, did more damage than the barbed bed that we originally have. So uh, we grabbed that one, and with the scrap that we got from uh, digging up all of the stuff, we bought ourselves a leather jacket for Big Rift. So she now has four armor. So that's uh. <laughs> Hopefully going to be pretty damn hilarious. But I'm not quite sure what we should be doing. Oops. Ranger Team Echo, this is Remember, up, yeah. your main priority is to recover the repeater units Ace was carrying. Once you've got the devices, you'll be headed to Ag Center and High Pool to install them. But we'll talk mm. about that after you acquire the repeaters. We must it is vital that all teams stay don't let that make you self-conscious or nothing. 10-4 Echo 1, carry on. Right, so we've already done all the uh, story things. Now, um, I've seen some other YouTubers uh, uh, give the hint, and I, I noticed that myself as well, that in this canyon over here, you can basically uh, 
get a lot of uh, experience from uh, fighting the, uh, the red scorpions. And uh, uh, admittedly, the tip was for uh, the highest difficulty, but I think it's still a good idea to uh, to get a little bit of uh, uh, a few fights under our belt, so that we can hopefully get some better gear and uh, oh, dangerous raiders. Uh, yeah, sure. So let's see how our squad works, shall we? I think we can use these uh, as cover. Okay, we're gonna have to get closer with these two. Uh, he's gonna have to sit back as well. I think we're gonna make him crouch. We go. And Angela can also crouch down here. Nope. Don't know what that button that was. Let's get Sam there and bring Urfa over there behind the cover. Get these bound to discover over here as well. Very good. Okay, you guys crouch. Why can't you see it? Not quite sure about that. That's it, out of range. It's not that he didn't have a line of sight, he's out of range. Ah, oh, starting weapon is really short range. Uh, alright. That corner is also still covered, so let's go on an ambush. Uh, let's put her on closer as well. Yeah. Alright, nice. Hello, friend. Get something on your face. Let me get it for you. All right. Very good. All right. Let's get her up close and personal. Yeah. Yeah, the mobility is really great. And this is a level one, so that's. Uh, should only get better. So, corner, no, that's not covered. Uh, let's go on ambush as well then. Let's get her closer. Okay, your weapon cannot di di diagonally attack. can do it. set up over there. It's only costing us four. Really? Holy shit, that's it. That's insane. Okay, not sure what he's doing. He's a gunslinger, so he's a pistol. Nice. Wait. What? Oh, that's Angela. You want to speak, uh, Angela? Alright, so this was just some junk and a trauma kit. Oh, and we got some more loot as well. So, okay, that, that works pretty nicely, I'd say. Uh, we are obviously uh, still at level 1, so our starting gear is only gonna be. Uh... Yeah, I'm ca I was kind of used to. Uh... The end game gear that we have, but uh, our, our range of our weapons and stuff like that's a lot shorter. So we'll have to take that into consideration a bit more. But uh, yeah, I, I'd say it works fine so far. Uh, what I will do is I'll, I'll do a little bit off screen uh, fighting. And I'll get back to you guys when we are at the radio tower. Alright, so we haven't been doing as much as I'd want to, but I've already noticed some things with this difficulty. When you level up, because we leveled up once, 
but you don't automatically regain all your health. So that's a definite change that I'm not used to, and that's well, well honestly, it was an unpleasant surprise. Uh, we got uh, a new weapon for uh, for Big Bertha, and uh, we're already running out of ammo and, and constantly have to run around and look for uh, water sources and stuff. But uh, what I notice is that the, the distress calls for uh, Edge Center and Hypo keep coming in. So, because I don't know if we do have to hurry, that's why I'm uh, going here a little bit earlier than I'd like to. So, uh, I'm not, don't really recall who had a reception. I think that was uh, was her. Yeah. All right. In this case. Uh, Yeah, that's a good question. Hey, what do we have here? Alright, these uh, people were killed by the raiders. Let's just uh, kill these guys outright. What I've also noticed is that the, the range on our weapons is a lot tinier than I uh, than I'm used to but I think I already uh, made that point Boom. fortunately on I forgot that you only uh, fire a single shot when you do that so. <laughs> Uh, the first points uh, when I leveled up, I put them in, in our weapon uh, weapon skill. Because holy shit, are we bloody inaccurate with these things? I mean, it, it's a little bit better now, but not by much. On the flip side, our enemies are also really cross-eyed, so uh, it swings both ways. Let's move them up. Just bring, uh, that guy over there is not gonna kill himself. Uh, yeah, we don't really got good chances to uh, kill that guy, and I don't want to waste the ammo on it, so we're gonna close with him and kill him in melee. It's something that uh, that I did in in, pre in the first campaign as well, in the early game, but. Uh, I kind of got used to having plenty of ammo later on in the game, and that was kind of... Uh, I was spoiled in that regard. Requires <laughs> five to use them. Yeah, he has trouble. He has a problem. <laughs> if we could actually hit something, that is. Which uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Holy shit, we are fucking cross-eyed. There we go. That took a little bit longer than I'd like, but we finally managed to kill him. We are a little bit short on uh, 38 rounds, unfortunately. Because uh, our accuracy is really low, and we're also not uh, hitting it too much. So uh, we end up having to fire our guns on a lot more than. Uh, then I find uh, well, then I'd like, honestly. Oh, oh, sweet! On the bare flat. I don't think we got uh, weapon mod in two yet. In fact, we don't got uh, weapon uh, smithing at all yet. So that's something uh, that we're gonna have to wait for. But then unfortunately, because we have uh, delayed gratification, he's only getting three skill points per, per level instead of uh, the, uh, four, uh, uh, the four that we normally get. The guys will charge you 15 scrap to go through here. Where the hell did he come from? 10, I'll look the other way. 
or do we have a problem? Please, no. They'll kill me. <laughs> Go on, pass through. Yeah, I intend to do that. What the? Check it out. Oh, it's you guys. Get moving. Not so much for the idea of breaking your arm. She got zapped because she had a crit fail. Hmm. Alright, that sucks. But, not much you can do about it. Let's continue. Uh, this one had a... Uh, yeah, booby trap. And I think there was something up with those crates as well. Maybe we had to lockpick them or something? Speaking of lockpick... Oh, I know why we don't have any lockpick. Uh, the, uh, the, the, this campaign we're going to go towards uh, High Pool instead of Agent. And uh, there's a person over there. No, wait, that, actually, that, 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 that would be our sniper. Oh, sweet. Damn you. And uh, and uh, I don't really recall how she was uh, called, but but she's a sniper. That's why none of my own guys are snipers. I'm a. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, what's this? Oh, that is a nice machine gun. That's a pretty uh, decent uh, improvement over our current uh, setup. Uh, l let's see, I'm taking up Ralphie this campaign. And uh, the, the third companion I'm gonna go for is Scotchmo, the, uh, the guy over in the, the Rail Nomads. Uh, the one the sh he, uh, he's gonna get a shotgun. I, um, I'm thinking about what weapons I had lined up for the other people. Ralphie had really high, low intellect. So memory serves, I was gonna give him. Uh, so he's just level. I think he had infantry or something like that. So when he's level 10, I'm gonna give him at least int 4, so he gets free uh, skill points. But I think I was gonna give him uh, energy weapons. So early on, he's gonna be no bloody help whatsoever. Uh, the, the sniper I was gonna give a pistol as a backup weapon. A Scotchmo had shotguns. No. I had some notes lying around, but because I can't find them, I'm doing it all out the back of my head. So this was the uh, cave of the, uh, the toad. Where is it? Yeah, there it is. Crouch of everybody. It has decent uh, armor, so let's see if we can reduce that a little bit. It, it's just sitting out of range. So let's crawl a little bit closer. I think she has a, a bit higher uh, rifle. Uh, no. Same as same as us, actually, so... Oh, fuck! We got it on the first hit. Nice. Ow.
That's the uh, repeaters of memory serves. Uh, yep. That's Ace of Gear, all right. What the hell was this metal asshole planning to do with it? We should poke around the cave. Make sure he didn't drop mm -hmm. nothing else. I don't think we have any uh, computer science just yet, no. This is what killed him. What's this one? God damn piece Logbook page and what's that? A no two real romance. Okay. I'm glad he's killed this fucking thing, but I wish he was still alive so I could make him suffer. Right. So we can't uh, access the uh, thing that it has, and that's temperature, right? Oh. Oh that, that oh that was his gear. Okay. So do we uh, how do we go in man? Right? Echo one door. Uh, the what? Yeah. Yeah. God damn. That is for Captain's fancy work. Okay. Good. But our priority is still those repeat. Hi fool, he may have fixed from there. Hey. Talk to Matt Forrest all about hooking. They built their tower on top of an old used to be part of an old satellite. Roger Echo. All right. All right. So we got two people. Level up. Congratulations. Let's quickly do that now. Uh, what I could do is quickly grab uh, the two points in uh, weapon smithing that we need anyway, or I could just uh, put them all in heavy. Uh, you know what? Let's do it like this. Uh, her whole thing is that she's cutting things up in close combat, so we're gonna put four points in the bad moments. Alright, so we're gonna complete this area, and then we're gonna go to uh, to Eiffel. Oh, completely forgot to, to heal, because... Oh, right, he can heal himself. Uh, the, the only solution so far that I got is uh, giving, uh, letting the others uh, give him uh, their uh, low, do low dosage uh, pain relievers, but uh, that's only going to help us so far, so we're going to have to find uh, another solution for that. Because these things, uh, yeah, we're quickly running out, to be honest. I think only Angela, no. Well, he, he has two more, but let's give one of those demo and the other one Daisy. And then uh, we're soon going to have to give a demo some uh, points in uh, first aid. Wait, what's that? Alright, that's the middle leg. And we got another. Copy Echo 1. Congratulations, Echo One. So more people level up. Uh, right. Uh, the higher perception is pretty important, but higher alarm is also going to be beneficial. And let's put a point in surgeon and third up we need four, right? Yeah. Okay, we do. Um, let's put another point in surgeon then. So everyone's level three now. Sworn there was something over here as well, but perhaps our perception isn't high enough to catch up on that. When we searched that last time, I had. quiet at least. You went down fighting. Damn it, Ace. Yeah, let's kill these guys as well, because that's that's a little bit more experience there that we're gonna that we can really use. Besides, they don't start hostile, so that allows us to uh, to get the first hit in. She needs to move over a little bit to get cover. Nice. They got a few dogs, but I don't think they can run in and attack. Which, by the looks of it, they can, so that's good for us. Let's go in for it. Alright, 
I am back. Mm. Let's move to this location. So they have to move a little bit to get uh, to, to attack you. Let's kill this guy first. Excellent. Alright, so let's see. Uh, he is in good cover. That's going to work. Right. Spike health. Um, hmm. I think we only need to hit him once or, or tw twice, but uh, let's do this. Yeah, okay. Well, that kind of feels like a waste, but we still need to kill him, so. Oh. I love that egg. Just walk up to him. Hello. All right, yeah, that works. That works for me. This gun needs a lot more uh, extra points to fire. Yeah. All right, actually, no. His previous one uh, required. Um, Previous one required five teams, this one is six, so it's not that big a difference. There we go. Some junk that we can sub on. And this one we can still loot. Just the earth, I don't think we have got any mechanical repair, do we? A mechanical repair, so we can fix it. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely Ace's handwriting. I recognize those chicken scratches. Chicken scratches. I think we are done here. All the way to Arizona. And kill those so called upholders of justice, the desert rangers. I don't get shaken up easy. This place is sending shivers up my spine. God damn it, Ace. Why won't you let me come with you? Alright, so. Does anyone need anything? Angela does. Let's give her a healing kick up the ass. Very good, and I think this is going to be enough for this episode. Uh, next episode, so I guess we, you could say, it, well, this was the start, but next episode we're starting our our journey with Hypo, and then uh, we'll see how far we get. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for tuning in. My name is Demolius, and I'll see you guys next time.